In the section, we will be discussing about third type of archaebacteria called thermacidophiles. So as the name suggests, they are files and files means loving. They love temperature and also love acidity. So they are the bacteria, they are the archaebacteria, those are found at highly thermal or temperature conditions which can go to 80 degrees centigrade and highly acidic uh, what you call conditions which can even be pH 2. So they live in high temperature and the temperature can go up to 80 degree and they live in high acidic environment. The acidic environment can have the pH of 2. So they can survive in hot water springs. Remember this particular concept that archaebacteria which are thermacidophiles they survive in hot water springs because hot water springs have the what you call temperature of 80 degrees centigrade and pH of 2. Now what do they do? They convert sulfur to sulfuric acid and sulfuric acid you must be knowing is an acid. So because of this particular acid the pH drops down and the pH can you know drop down to 2 even. And they when they are doing this when they are converting sulfur to sulfuric acid they utilize this particular chemical energy for their synthesis of the food. So they are also chemoautotrophs. We have discussed that halophiles were heterotrophs because they cannot utilize the sunlight formed ATP for the food synthesis. But they can get chemical energy from the sulfur to sulfuric acid conversion. So they are getting the energy from this chemical energy. So that is how they are chemoautotrophs. Now some examples of thermacidophiles are thermoplasma or thermoproteus. In the next session we will be discussing about the details of cyanobacteria.